All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be going over um, our five wide scheme out of the empty wide flex out of the Steelers playbook. And uh, this is just a really, really fun offense. Now, one of the things I will say is this is your base formation, and you can actually go to other formations if you want to. So um, if you your empty Y flex, you can audible to things like empty Steeler. Um, I'm not sure if you can audible to empty Trey Flex, but basically what you want to do is you'll see if I just sub a running back in at one of these sections here, uh, and I'll just show you this real quick, uh, and then we'll go over the play that we're going to talk about. You'll see that I can audible to the empty stealer. I can audible to the empty Y flex, uh, and I can audible to the empty bunch. I can't, however, audible to the empty trace stack, unfortunately. That's kind of one of the things. Um, but I will also show something out of empty empty trace stack. And this is just something to know because it's going to allow your five wide scheme to just improve because you can go to get other routes out of five wide and uh, be very effective that way. So one other thing you can do out of this is if I, if I put this halfback um not how is it the halfback stack pack i think it is the halfback stack package out of empty tray stack you'll see that i can then audible to empty stealer and i can audible to empty bunch but as you can see i can't audible to empty white flex so that's just something to be aware of you you want to come out in either one of those but you want to make sure that you have your personnel set so that you can audible um over to other formations that you might want to go to so anyways um, let's talk today about um, the next play that I want to go over, and that is the Y shake play. Um, I find this play to be a little bit different, um, you know, just a little bit unique um, in how we're going to run it. But I think it's honestly one of my favorite plays in the game. So let's dive into it. And um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to first show this against kind of just a standard cover three Mabel, and then we're going to talk about some of the rest of the routes. But let me just show you the routes that you have on the field. Um, you see that I have this really deep corner route to R1. Um, I want to smart route that corner route typically. And then from there, you see I've got a nice shake route to the tight end. I think that this route is really, um, I think it's just really, really good against man. Like it's, it's, it's really, really good against man. It pulls the user really, really well. Um, and then let me just show you this uh, this little in route right here, circle. So you see, what I like about this in route is it gets underneath every single zone in the game, okay? That's what I love about the in route. The other thing that I like about this in terms of how it pairs together is because your Y, um, your receiver on the right side here is on a corner route, he's going to pull both the vertical hook and he's going to pull the purple, and he's going to pull the outside third. So you'll see I'm in cover three Mabel right here. I just want you to watch R1, and you'll see here that the cover three will stop it. As you can see, he stops it. Perfect. Um, but we talked about in the last video how if they're running a lot of cover three on you, then you can simply go to this play right here out of halfback sluggo. Very, very simple setup. And you can basically send three people out on a route. That's all you need uh, for this play. And if you do this, you'll see if they want to run cover three, like we can just kill cover three. Absolutely kill it. We could have hit the, the guy over the middle um, going vertical. Okay. And we talked about that in a previous video. So this is really, you know, if they play cover three, you're not going to have your corner route. I'm just telling you, um, it's just not going to be there because there's no vertical route to pull the outside third. You always want to look there, but if it's not there, then you want to start working your underneath. And that circle route is so dang good. I absolutely love that route. Um, it just does really good against man. It does really good against zone as well. But one of the things we did talk about was the way that they stop their cover three bomb out of this um out of this defense is they have to put their safeties or their corners in deep halves if they're putting their corner in a deep half you see he's not going to break back down on the ball so if you see that then you can throw your corner out against this and get an easy couple of yards that corner route will also be a really good route um and normally i would put um chris godwin there because and the reason why is if you look at the alignment of this formation you're going to notice that the linebacker is the person that's manned up on the R1 receiver, which what that means is he's never going to get pressed by that linebacker. And, um, and it's going to, if you have slotomatic there, that's going to kill man to man coverage, like absolutely kill man coverage. Or if you just have something like short, um, short in elite or something, you're going to be just fine. Okay. So that's another thing that I like about this. The other thing that we have to understand about the way our opponents are going to play defense against us, especially if they're playing this cover three, is they're going to basically be in something essentially like this right here. And this little fade route on the left side is not a bad route at all. Let me show you that real quick. 
So at the snap of the ball, if I just simply throw this with an outside pass lead, occasionally I will be able to complete it. The one problem is it's a little bit too short. Um, it's just a little bit too short for the way that I wanna play and the way that I wanna use it. And so the way that I like to kind of counter all this is I like to go ahead and I can put um, I can put the, the, the triangle receiver on um, a, a flat route and then just put the curl uh, to the square receiver. Um, so you'll see here, this is a really good play uh, to be able to beat this cover. So you'll see this curl route, because it's to the short side, you're gonna have a lot of openings, whether it be your quick out or your curl. Um, the other thing that I like about this is, again, this is kind of the play that we're gonna go to once we start to notice that our opponent is, is doing a lot of deep halving. Um, so, and I don't know why my defense, normally it should be like this. I don't know what, what's going on with the defensive setup here. But, um, but anyways, so, and, and it might just be because we subbed a running back in on that side, I don't know, but, but anyways. So what we can also do out of this, if we want to, is we can put the tight end on a vertical streak, okay? Just like that, if we want to. Uh, and then we can basically put our curl out there. We already have the flat route. And what you'll see here is if it's cover three, now your corner route gets open every single time, no matter what. Um, the problem with the streak to the tight end, I find, is it makes it a little bit too easy for your opponent to use or the in route. But when you have this tight end shake route, what you're gonna get, um, at least what, I, what I've seen over and over and over again uh, when I've ran this play online, is I get basically this. So this user right here is always gonna jump over in this area of the field um, because he has to, because if he doesn't, that, that guy going vertical is gonna get wide open. I can put him on a streak as well. One thing I will show you, if I put that guy on a streak, you'll see this fade route is wide open. So I would I, I forgot to talk about that. That fade route is kind of like a it's kind of like an out route. It's gonna kill um, it's gonna kill zone coverage. The problem with the streak um, to triangle is if you get a, something like that, that can basically play it. So like a a, a three uh, a cover three blitz style defense, it can basically play, play the fade. Um, the fade is, um, a like I said, it's a little bit, it's a little bit dicey. Let me show you it one more time though. Um, and you can also wait on this fade. That's one thing I do like about it. But as you can see, it just kind of sits in a weird, awkward spot. And because it's to the short side of the field, that's one of the things that really can kind of come back to bite us. That's why I like to use, um, just a simple curl flat concept on that side. The other thing though, that I would say is if you want to, you will find that you're going to have a lot of success if you streak, um, if you streak that that triangle receiver, and but you want to motion him over here because as you'll see, now he pulls this zone in, and then now I've got all this grass over here where I can really work this little fade quick throw. Okay, so if you use that motion technique, you'll see like if let's just say they're in this defense, which is a seam flat. Um, to the to the guy so you see I motioned him in so I'm gonna pull the, the purple zone in and now I'm gonna have all this grass over here but again as you see you know they will squat sometimes down so anyway that's just something to be aware of um, but anyways uh, back to the defense for just a second so you're noticing that if you put the slot you know wherever you put Godwin is wherever this is gonna be uh, wherever their coverage is gonna be heavy to so why I like this shake route though so much is because it gets underneath and in between zones really, really well. The other thing that I like about this is again, if we go based off of how people, most people are gonna defend uh, this formation, you're gonna see their user go over here to go to the left side first. And then they're gonna have this vertical hook over here on the right side. What I like about this tight end shake route is you're gonna see what it does to these yellow zones. It pulls them back and allows me now to hit brown right over the middle of the field. So this is basically a levels concept in terms of how it's gonna practically work. There's some things we can do a little bit differently if we want to. We can basically, um, if we have Hot Route Master, we can put the tight end on a post route. We could streak the or fade the square receiver uh, and then put the hitch to the triangle receiver. Another thing that I actually really like to do, um, specifically against zone coverage, if I know I'm gonna get a lot of zone, is uh, motion in Mike Evans, put him on a hitch, then just motion him back out, and then bring Godwin across and put him on a vertical stretching uh, seam route. The reason I like doing this so much 
is you're gonna see that this post route is gonna get wide open as a result of that uh, little quick adjustment just like that. So that's another way that you can run this play. This play is really good against zone. Um, it's really good against man as well because you have that corner route, but you also have this unguardable shake route. That shake route cannot be guarded in man. And then you can do whatever you want with the two man, um, the, the two receivers. One thing you could also do is, um, like one thing you could also do is you could put like Godwin on a um, like a like a hitch just like this, and then you could bring in Evans and put him on a corner route. That's an easy uh, easy read. That's really really good against really any zone coverage because the hitch is going to basically all the zones will sit on the hitch. I'll show you that. Um, oops. I'll show you that real quick from a cover three. That's like a, a, a really easy little thing that you can kind of wrinkle in. Again, it's nothing super crazy, but what I like about this, you see here when I motion this guy in, I could leave this fade, but if I put him on a corner and then I have a hitch underneath it, now I'm stretching uh, both sidelines really well. And you see that the outside third doesn't play the corner. The reason why is because that hitch is going to basically hold all of the zones in a single file line, allowing you to throw the corner route. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the full empty Y flex offensive scheme, you can get that by texting the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Or if you just want to sign up for the text message membership playlist in general, you can get access to over 20 schemes that I've created over the course of Madden 20 on offense and on defense. And we're also going to be doing the same thing for Madden 22. So if you want to get signed up to receive free schemes, these are schemes that pros use. These are schemes that literally the schemes we talked about in the text membership was the schemes that won the Madden 20, uh, Madden 21 club championship. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get all those schemes, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.